my friends, I'm Sunny Don Johnston, author of Invoking the Archangels, a nine-step process to heal your body, mind, and soul, and creator of Detox Your Life, a 44-day mind, body, spirit detox. So today, I wanted to talk with you about some tools and techniques that you can use to help your children learn about money. You know, when I was growing up, I remember money was like a taboo subject. Do you remember that? Like, you weren't supposed to talk about it. And, you know, I would ask my parents how much money they made, and they'd be like, oh, we don't, we don't talk about that. And, you know, I'd say, well, how much does this thing cost of somebody else's or a new truck or whatever? And it was all, like, kind of kept quiet and hidden. It was like there was this, this secretive kind of feel to anything to do with money. It's almost like there was either shame around it, um, and or, um, gosh, I don't even know what my word is, you know, like a um, power or um, ego even. And so I got really mixed messages when I was a kid with money. And uh, even though I started working at the age of nine and, and had money, my parents always, you know, took really good care of us. I always had everything I ever wanted. Uh, and my, my dad would make good money and then he would lose all of his money and then he'd make good money again and then he'd lose his money again. That was a kind of a cycle in our life. So I had a lot of conflict around money. So one of the things that I realized is although my dad taught me work ethic, uh, you know, I started working at nine years old and have worked ever since, um, what I didn't learn was what to do with the money. I didn't learn how to make good decisions about money. I didn't, I, didn't have, I didn't have it modeled for me. Uh, my dad tended to be very um, showy and would get greedy, which is why he would lose everything. And so there wasn't really healthy um, money values even in my household. My mom was always good with money and she always, you know, she loved to shop and she'd shop the sales and clearances and, and, that, and she enjoyed that and she still does today. But uh, but when I was growing up, it was just very, very conflicting. And so when my kids started, you know, getting older, when my, my oldest son, actually, when he was about nine, I think, I started doing this with him, I, I wanted to teach them about money. And I'm sure you probably had that same challenge, right, where, you know, how do you teach them healthy money habits? And the first thing for me was talking about it. I didn't want it to be secretive. I didn't want there to be shame around if you were making money or if you weren't making money. I didn't want there to be judgment uh, or, or, or them to place any uh, comparisons or measure their value by money. Probably extra sensitive to that because of my own experience growing up. And so I decided that I needed to find a way to help them learn how to earn money and and not only how to earn it but then how to be able to save it and and I really wanted to teach them about about healthy choices around money and and that money is is simply energy and that at any given time we have different amounts of energy uh, so I was inspired and I can't even remember where the idea came from but I really was inspired one day because this is what would happen in my life. So I think my son was nine, he might have been 10. And kind of the philosophy that my husband and I followed was uh, you get a dollar for each age, for each year that you are. So let's say he was nine years old. So he'd get a dollar, so he'd get nine dollars a week if he did all of his chores. And the chores in our household, <clears throat> that sounds like such an old word, but we, we used it. Um, the chores in our household were he had to do, you know, empty the dishwasher, dump the garbages and uh, I think make the beds, make, make, clean up, keep his room clean. And so if he would do that, and if we asked him to do extra things, then he'd get his allowance on Fridays. So what would happen all the time was he would, I'd give him his allowance, and then like Tuesday or Wednesday he'd say, Mom, you need to give me your, my allowance. And I'd say, I gave you your allowance on Friday. And he'd say, no, you didn't. And I'd say, yeah, I did. He'd say, no, you didn't. And then I would couldn't be sure, because I would give him cash, I wasn't positive if I actually gave him the money or not. So then sometimes I would say no, I'm positive that I didn't, even if I wasn't positive. And then other times I would give it to him because I felt like, well, maybe I didn't give it to him. It made me nuts. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't figure, I can't remember. 
Um, and so that was one part. The second part was what I realized is I was paying him really to, to uh, do the things that he was doing, that he was supposed to be doing as chores, but there was no way that we were keeping track of it. So like, for example, if he didn't do something one day or two days or three days, then should he get the same amount of money that he would get if he did do them all? And I had no way of tracking that. So I decided that it shouldn't be my job to track it. It actually, to teach him responsibility around money, uh, I ought to teach him how to keep track of that. And so what I did was I created a, um, we created a little banking system in my house. Now, I know some of you might think this is extreme, but for me, it was, it was too hard to keep track of. I didn't want to feel like I was nuts. I wanted to be fair. And so what I did is I started treating it more like a job. So I told my son, now this particular invoice I'm going to show you, uh, I, I created invoices for my kids. So my, my son, by the time he was 10, I, I had started this. And my other son was only two. But, but by the time he was four, I started it with him also. So this is what I created. So you'll have this just right below in a Word doc. So you can adjust it and change the names and the things that you want to change and adjust it to your own. This is just the way that I did it. <clears throat> and this is actually the one that I created. Uh, gosh, that was 15, 16 years ago now. And I um, have used it ever since. But this is for my younger son. So I had his name and I had his phone number on here. And then I had the invoice number. And I'd always give it an invoice number and a date. And then... Um, he would need to write this out to mom or to dad. It was always to me. Uh, if he had any notes for me, so this is um, comments or special instructions. If he had any notes for me, like, I did extra work on Thursday, or, um, you know, please remember, I love you. There's all, sometimes there are some funny notes on these things because they didn't want me to forget that, you know, they, they helped me bring the groceries in and they were wanting, like, extra money for that. They didn't get it. But <clears throat> then... What I'd have them do is have them put the date down and then what they were what they had gotten because for allowance they they got allowance they earned allowance if they did the things that they were supposed to do. However, if they didn't do them, then they didn't get their full amount of allowance. But they had to keep track of this, so they had to write it all down. So if it was just allowance and it was nine dollars, let's say straight across, and that was it, he'd bring the total down here and he usually would write thank you or something like that. But if they didn't do it, and I say, hey, dude, I asked you to do that, you know, three or four times, and you didn't take care of it, um, then uh, you got to take a couple bucks off of your allowance. Because in the real world, out there in the world, uh, if you don't take care of the things that you're supposed to take care of, number one, you usually lose your job. I was docking them a little bit of money. And I wanted to teach them... Number one, that when you say you're going to do something, you follow through. If, you, if, you, if somebody's made a commitment to you to pay you a certain amount of money, then you need to follow through with that commitment. And if you don't, then you're responsible to, to, to fix that energy, to, uh, to, to correct that. And correcting that would be to give some of that energy back. If you didn't give all the energy in, then you shouldn't get all the energy back. And I really wanted to teach them about money and money as energy. So this form, this was the thing that was great, is they had to do it all. And then I had a little mailbox. I had a little box that they'd have to put it in. And, uh, and I kept the empty ones, or I kept the, 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 yeah, the blank ones in a folder, and then there was a little box, and they'd have to put it in the box. And as long as they got it in the box by Thursday night, then on Friday, they would get paid. And I would write, um, thank you, $9, cash, paid, whatever day. I would actually write that out. And, uh, and then I'd put it back in the box and they could collect it. However, if they didn't have this in the box by Thursday night, they didn't get paid. Now, that didn't happen very often because they very much paid attention to Thursday night. But the reason that I did that is I wanted to teach them that you're responsible and there are consequences when you don't take care of the things that you need to take care of. If you don't turn your paperwork in on time, oftentimes you lose certain things. Now, you would still get paid in a real work situation, but I wanted them to learn natural consequences. The great thing about this was it put the responsibility in their hands. It was their responsibility to earn it, and it was their responsibility to then ask for what they needed 
what they wanted, what they earned, what they deserved, and that way it taught them how to value their own work also. One of the struggles that I had in my life was um, not feeling like my work was of value and, and finding ways to um, be able to feel deserving of it. And, and for me, I had a history. There was a reason for that. At nine years old, or I think I was ten, I asked my dad for a raise. He was paying me a dollar. I asked him for two dollars and he told me I wasn't worth it. And, um, and, and, and I lived with that message in my head in a variety of different ways, but especially in the monetary way for a long time. And so I really wanted them to have a different experience with it. So this is just something. It's a, it's a way. You know, ultimately, they want to learn how to, or we want to teach them how to be able to manage their energy, money energy, in healthier ways. And I believe if we give them the responsibility, we put it in their hands at young ages, they become more and more responsible. Uh, just to give you an idea, my older son, who I started doing this with at, at 9 or 10, uh, at the age of 18, bought a house. He bought his own house, he moved out, uh, we helped him remodel it, and he's lived on his own ever since, and been a homeowner. Uh, my younger son chose another route. He chose to go full-time to school. But both of them have been very conscious around money. So hopefully that helps you. And if, if you like this, if, there's, if you have any other tips, maybe you have tips that you're using and or you uh, find something that's of real value here, please share that down in the comments before I would love below. I would love to hear what you have to say. And if you got some value from it, share it with your friends and let them know. Okay? Thanks so much. Create peace, love, and light.